to another episode of City Skylines. So today I wanted to get this area all developed and we need to replace some of the roads still in order to do that. So um, basically what I've been doing is adding crosswalks in between here so people can cross over and allow them to... That guy's just walking on the road, I noticed. <laughs> it's just like, I gotta just... Why are they walking on the road? I don't get that. Oh, he actually got in a car, though. Weird. I don't know. But there's crosswalks over here so people can get over and stuff like that. But, um, I'm hoping that will help with congestion for people crossing over on these sidewalks. So, I'm sure there'll still be people that will cross over and stuff, but I'm hoping that it will be a little bit easier. And there are people that are using cyclists and stuff like that, the cycle paths and stuff, so... That's good, and uh, we might even see if we can't set up some transit in here before I forget. So we we'll probably want, um, okay, let's see. I think there's a transit line. Oh, actually, I don't think any of this has transit. Maybe here somewhere, but I can't remember if I put one in. Uh, let's go here. Yeah, there is a subway system here. So we could get... Hmm, yes, so we might even want to make a separate uh, area for this this block for the subway systems. So basically like connect it up to here. I think that's pretty much the beginning and then have it link up with the rest of them. I think that would probably be the best way of going about it. We're gonna need um, this is a double one yeah this is double so we'll be able to put that it says we can put it here but there's a underpass there don't know how that's supposed to work um just trying to find a spot for it really okay so it kind of goes that way so maybe we can fit it in over here Yeah, I think that would be the best uh, solution, is just to bring it in here, and then we can set it up, um, link those up a little bit better. Alright, so let's go ahead and set up the line for that. We'll set up a subway system. Okay, there's one there, so probably want one over here.
I'm basically zoning, uh, putting a police station, and we have a medical clinic over here, which should do this area just fine. But we still need a police station and a few other things. So I want to see if we can't fit in. Will that actually fit on an exact square? It's a high capacity um, police station. Basically does the entire area. Oh wow, this has actually has a lot of reach, doesn't it? Might even be able to um, replace the ones around here. Because it goes all the way up to there. We might even be able to put this in here and just remove a couple of those. Now how much does this cost? 2000 per week. It's 48 per week. Or 480 per week compared to 2000. Now, if we're putting down. Because that's a small one over there, right? So that's uh, 400. We'd be looking at 1000 for that. But would we need another one? Yeah, we probably would need another one over here. So what, what are we looking at for that? We're looking at least. 12,000 that justify the cost but we also could expand all in this area too without needing to worry about putting more down so it might be beneficial we might be able to cover all that it's about the same price I would think 2400 is I think like 400 more dollars roughly I'm not sure. Um, might need a calculator for that one. So regular, regular one is 480, right? So we would want to divide that by. Four eighty. Oh, not four thousand. My calculator has a, a double zero digit on it. So two four zero zero. Divided by 480. So it's about five police stations. Actually, exactly five police stations. So, but we get quite a bit of bit of reach as well. So, might be able to fit that in. I think it might be beneficial to put that in there. And we could just not worry about police stations in this little chunk area. And it looks pretty good. I like the look of that.
then. So what we got done was I put a elder care um, building in and that should help with this residential area. I figure what we'll end up doing is expanding over onto the side pretty soon after we get to down here I think and then that way we'll be able to um, get a lot of that stuff um, all made and stuff like that so we'll have um, maybe a childcare over here and that should cover about the same radius for everything I think uh, we might even want to put some sort of way over to the other side just so people can cross over by path as well uh, we might be able to monopolize on that by putting a park or something in as well so we'll see if we can't do that there's a little bit of a part right here we might be able to go over we'll see what we can come up with with that and it's perfect because there's a um, meteorite park right there so we'll be able to like monopolize a little bit even even more because there's a uh, subway station here and there might be one over here but um, they might just decide to go through the thing. Actually, I'm not sure if that will work too much. But it might stop transit, like, people from going over too often, maybe. Like, for the subway system, might help with the numbers there. We'll see what we can come up with. Um, just trying to figure out the best place for it. And we'll probably need to expand that road a little bit more. So we'll go ahead and grab this one. And we'll actually go ahead and build the roads over here first. We'll have to do the same thing that we've been doing, but it should be a little bit easier. So we'll bring that all the way to... I think we're doing about twos, weren't we? Yeah, I think we were doing about like two per thing. So we'll bring that up to there. that up to there and that should be the last one so like that we might be able to put some stuff in here I'm not sure yet what I want to put there oh there's an old factory there nice all right so let's go ahead and put those um, transit lines in or the uh, bicycle lanes and then we'll have a general idea of what we're going to be working with so let's see here might be able to kind of scoop it around, maybe. We'll see if we can't do that. So we're going to need a main gate.
Okay, so we got quite a bit of stuff done today. We got most of the strip built, which is way more than what we built last episode, I would say, uh, because we've got about that much from this point uh, over here to all the way over here. And if you look at the shape of it, it's a lot larger than what we got over done over on this side. But we did with to be fair we did get a, a few other things done on the other side as well so there, it's about the same amount of progress i guess if you were to compare what we did in the last episode but uh there's elder care child care there is um a motel roadside motel here uh, a large playground there's also this uh, friendly neighborhood park there and a whole bunch of residential and stuff in, mixed in there um, a lot of these buildings are um, low rises so um, to try I'm trying to keep the demand for residential low but it just keeps climbing so we haven't really done too much to fix that issue but um, it just is we just have to keep up on it and i also put in a pathway here for the meadows crossing which allows them to get over to the meteorite park uh from crossing over this way which i'm not sure how much we've actually gotten for revenue yeah we're not making that much let's uh increase the price to like 15 dollars. there isn't really anything here for them to do so they just kind of cross over and pay us <laughs> Um, but yeah, outside of that, we got, um, all that done. I'm pretty happy with it. We got the schools finished and the roads upgraded, uh, so they have the double turning lanes and stuff like that. Subway system in, uh, we got that in so people can use the subway system now and get between all these places. There's, like, three additional stops now, so there's, um, the one here... And then there's one over on this side, and then there's another one, can't remember where it was, somewhere over here, I think. And then there's another one over the over here, which we upgraded to a double line, so they can basically transfer between stations into this area. So, outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, peace out.